What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and today's video is the last part in my series on the Tank Museum, and we are starting it off right with the US Army's M48 Patton. And I am 99% sure that this tank is the namesake of General George S. Patton, one of the most famous or infamous World War II generals, depending on your point of view. And the man himself needs no introduction. He is constantly referenced in pop culture, TV, movies, comic books, video games, everything. He is constantly referenced. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the M48 Patton tank, and it just screams one thing and one thing only. America! Fuck yeah! Honestly, I think this thing looks like a punchline to a bad joke. But when you notice it belongs to the UN, the realisation strikes you that this actually belongs to the biggest bunch of clowns on the planet, except maybe Joe Biden supporters or the British government. So, uh, UN, let me give you a piece of advice. Next time you want to design a piece of junk like this, just up armour a Land Rover. It will be more reliable, you get better mileage, and you can still mount weapons on the damn thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the United Nations clown car, I mean a uh, ferret scout car. Now this is more like it, the T-72 main battle tank, a truly serious piece of hardware that is not to be trifled with. What else can I say about this tank? Well, not a whole lot, but I'll say this, the T-72 main battle tank is straight badassery, son. Unlike its big cat namesake, the Leopard Tank is rather plain looking. So, let me give you a fun fact about leopards while you are looking at the leopard. Did you know that a leopard's spots are actually called rosettes. And they are called rosettes because they resemble roses. Anyway, there you go. A fun fact about leopards while looking at the leopard tank.
With the Challenger 2 we have officially come to the end of my series on the Tank Museum and I honestly hope you've enjoyed watching these videos as much as I enjoyed making them. I really think that the way I recorded these videos as a walkthrough of the museum was the best way to do it. It allows you to see the tanks to experience what I experienced without having an information dump with details about every tank. If I had to make it again, I would do it the exact same way. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.